Welcome to I Lecture Online. The history of launches to Mars is quite interesting. And it started way back in 1960, probably way before many of us were even alive. So, 1962, that's for 60 years. For 60 years, we've been trying to send spacecraft to Mars, and the initial attempts were not nearly as successful. Nowadays, whenever there's a launch, almost any time, the launch is successful and the mission completes as is planned, but that was definitely not the case in the early history of space travel because we're still learning a lot of things. Now we had two competing powers that were building spacecraft. They were competing against one another. Russia had a head start with, with Sputnik that was launched in 1957. And in 1960, they tried to launch spacecraft to fly by Mars and take pictures of Mars and, and have some uh, sensors on board to try and figure out what Mars was all about. But the, Russia had an interesting approach in how they, they use space exploration. Instead of very carefully launching one once in a while, they would launch one after the other, gaining experience with the failures that they had so that they could build better spacecraft and be more prepared for the next launches. But the first five launches to Mars all went wrong. Something went wrong during the process. And the first five launches are on the board. Notice that the first two were in the window, from nine, the launch window of 1960 in the October time frame, and the next three launches were two years later in October-November time frame of 1962. All of them were trying to do a flyby by Mars, and of course the flyby is the easiest. You don't have to have extra fuel there to slow yourself down to get into orbit around the planet. You simply take whatever speed you have, go right past the planet, take pictures as you go past it. So it's definitely the easiest way to do that, especially when your speed is large, and of course using the gravitational pull of the Earth and the speed of the Earth, their speed would be large and they wouldn't have enough fuel to slow themselves down and get it themselves into an orbit around the planet. So what went wrong with these five initial attempts? Well, the first two failed to achieve Earth's Earth orbit. They didn't make it into orbit. Something went wrong on the way up, Probably something exploded or something went wrong so that they couldn't achieve Earth's orbit. And they, of course, the pieces usually come crashing back down to the Earth. In 1962, they made it all the way to Earth's orbit, but the booster disintegrated in Earth's orbit and they weren't able to get out of Earth's orbit on the way to Mars. Finally, on the fourth attempt, they made it to Earth's orbit and they were able to fire their engines again, get out of the orbit and get on the path towards Mars but they lost communication with the spacecraft and so since you didn't have any communication you don't know what's happening it could have made it to mars it could have crash landed on mars nobody knows because we didn't have any communication with the spacecraft and we don't know what happened to it and of course you couldn't send commands to the spacecraft to adjust in case that was necessary and then finally on the fifth one on november 4 1962 these are the launch dates there, it failed to leave Earth's orbit, so it made it to Earth's orbit, it wasn't able to leave Earth's orbit, so it's probably still going around. Eventually, if the orbit is low enough, there's enough drag, atmospheric drag, on the spacecraft, even in low Earth orbit, and so eventually those spacecraft will slow down enough and come crashing back down to the Earth. So I'm not sure what happened to that spacecraft, but it definitely was not able to get out of Earth's orbit. So, maybe one of the five made it as far as Mars, we just simply don't know, so it's considered a failed mission. Notice Russia had the head start on all this. They were able to send five spacecraft without any answer from anyone else. And the space vehicle that they used to get it up into orbit was called the Molnia, the Molnia uh, which is the early spacecraft that they used to get things into orbit, into Earth's orbit. So that is the early start. Five attempts, five failures. But after that, things began to go better for the Russians and also for the United States who got into the game as well and started sending spacecraft to Mars as well. Again, it wasn't a space it wasn't successful every time they launched, but the success rate began to improve as more information and more experience was gained in the attempt to send spacecraft to Mars. So stay tuned and we'll show you what happened on the next missions after that. So did they launch the same time where it is a shortest distance? So again, they will launch these spacecraft when they have that window, that launch window, when the distance between Mars and Earth's orbit is as close as possible. So yeah, they knew that just as well, and they were always launching. And you can see that the launch windows are typically a little bit more than two years apart. They're not two years and 50 days. That is true. So 
the, the launch windows last for about a month or a little less than a month so they could have been at the tail end of the first launch window and at the beginning of the next launch window so that they seem a little bit closer.